It's me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Man, I have some concerns tonight. Well, not concerns. Let's have my little last bottle of Guinness. Extra stout. That's my dear. It's night. It's night right now. I'm gonna go. Actually, you actually. Can I say something? You shouldn't really be drinking alcohol before you actually go to bed. I'm actually gonna take a long bath and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? You should. You know, no. You shouldn't. No. Not, not, I wouldn't even. I would say not even a glass of wine. That whole wine thing is what you're supposed to do. Is like what you do is like um. You're supposed to have like a half a glass of wine at night, you know, kind of kept it to go to bed, blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot of other stuff you should be doing, you know, like uh, taking a hot bath before you go to bed. That'll be better. And, you know, talk about nurses and, and frontline workers. Here's the thing. It used to be nursing. I used to, I used to know this. The biggest thing you could do uh, is still to this day, what you can do is before somebody goes to bed, you do their feet. You rub their, you know, you massage their feet, you know. That's a, that's an excellent thing. A bath and a hot bath and feet gives you a good night's sleep. You don't need you sleep. You don't need no. You don't need no uh, uh, pills. No no sedatives. No whatever. Da, da, da. You don't need none of that stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, well, that you don't need any of that stuff. But here's the thing. The, um, here's the funniest thing I've seen so far. Like we we have to wear a mask and everything when you go out, right? But here's what I find. Remember, I'm walking all the way from. Like, you know, the west side of Manhattan, west side, let's say uh, Harlem, well, the west side of Manhattan to Harlem proper, you know, the heart of Harlem, right? And, and so you got to go through a lot of different, you know, cultures as you as you walk through, you know, from, say, Broadway to Madison Avenue, you know? Okay, so. Good second, my beer. So if you do that, you know, so I'm wearing my mask. I noticed that, you know, if I'm in the black areas where black people even Puerto Rican, even Latino people, you know, our social distancing, yeah, it's social distancing, but it's not as social, it's not as distance as you socially should be, according to them. I, I, as you know, human beings are a social creature, so we want to be together anyway, herd animals, so I don't know how this is going to work out, for how long it's going to work out, but that's not the point. So, but what I notice also is when I'm in areas with white people, white people take this really long swath around <laughs> around you it's unbelievable i mean i've been in a situation with elevator like a white person wouldn't go into the elevator okay okay you know whatever okay i understand that you know you get a mask with it we'll go to the elevator but you know you guys like black people around like pff, four black people <laughs> go into that elevator we don't care i'm sorry i should have left because we put out our lives in danger i guess you know i suggest some do your immune system so it's so it's interesting so I mean, a lot of the stuff, if you look, it's, it, it, talk about frontline workers, there's the problem, man. I mean, the, the most egregious thing that, that happened this whole thing, I, I'll stop here. I mean, I'm, I didn't want to do this a long thing. But the most egregious thing that, that ever that happened was when, when the first thing they did was, was give money to people, to industries or whatever. I don't know. They, they just give, the Congress comes in and gives money to a bunch of rich people. You come back again, give much rich rich people again. Come back again, give rich people again. They come back a half a time, give rich people again. And the first thing they should have did was get like, you know, just um, uh, medical stuff. Just even just a test. That has, still hasn't been done. It's weird. It's, it's unbelievable that how we take this. So we shouldn't be taking this stuff. I mean, you know, no, no, no. This is this, everything is going to shift. This is going to shift. Take a while, but people finally realize now nah, you, you're just not going to be able to take this. Just don't take this no more. It's just it's, it's stupid, right? But because you know, like I say, like we said, one of the reasons why it was in the health the um, uh, what do you call it, the nursing homes first is because you have you have these low paid workers and you know or medical workers uh, LPNs and stuff like that and they they got two and three jobs so they go from one medical facility to another tracking it back and forth I mean the whole the emergency room people oh my gosh you know what I mean that's the first people that should who is I just don't understand I really don't understand why we allow these people to continue to fleece us stop let uh, things is good it's, it's got to happen uh, but anyway look. Take money back from the from the shipping thing and make the uh, okay. I'm through. I'm through. I just want to make it really short. But I'm you know, look, bless the healthcare workers. 
you know, uh, my sister's about to go into a thing where she go into a, a unit, a, a a a a COVID unit. You know what I mean? And which is actually the best place to be because then you have all the protective gear for you can in there just going. You know, you're saying say so. It's smart to to do that if you if you can. Um, anyway, so that's it. A little message from me, T from the Patterson Technology. From an undisclosed location.